Hello friends, I am Dr. Karpagam Chinnamma from Chikina Government Arts and Science College, Tirupur. I welcome you to EPG Padasala. We have already learned about textile finishing and today we are going to deal with one specific finish called durable press finish. Fabrics pass through various finishing process to make it suitable for its intended end use. Finishing may change the appearance, hand, serviceability and durability of fabrics. Consumers desire specific performance characteristics in fabrics. Various finishing processes are therefore applied in order to provide required characteristics which are not inherent in the fiber or fabric. In this session, we will get to know about durable press finish, get an insight into the types of durable press finishing, be acquainted with the characteristics of durable pressed fabrics and be aware of the care practices of durable pressed fabric. What is shape retention? Unlike silk, wool and man-made thermoplastic fibers, cellulosic fibers have poor resilience. That is, they lack the ability to retain their shape. They wrinkle and crush easily. Why does this happen? It is because the cellulosic fibers lack strong natural cross links. In cellulosic, the molecular chains are held together by weak hydrogen bonds which break with the stress of bending. New bonds hold the fiber in this bent position and form a wrinkle. To make them competitive with other fibers, a variety of shape retentive finishes are imparted. Some of the finishes are wrinkle resistant finish, wash and wear finish and durable press or permanent press finishes. All these shape retention finishes are based on resins that will combine chemically with the fiber through a process known as cross linking whereby adjacent molecular chains of cellulose in the fiber are linked or tied together to provide greater molecular rigidity and to prevent intermolecular slippage. Resin crosslinks give fibers a memory and good wrinkle recovery. Originally, urea formaldehyde was used, then melamine formaldehyde and formaldehydes were used. But they produced a bad odor and were allergic to some consumers. Use of formaldehyde resin is restricted because it is a carcinogen. Polycarboxylic acid or modified glycosyl based reactants are used but both are expensive. Now widely used agent is dimethylodihydroxyethylene urea which is generally referred to as DMDHEU. Another is dihydroxyl dimethyl ethylene urea that is DM DMEU. The durable press or permanent press finish. What do you understand by the term durable press finish? Durable press is a type of shape retention resin finish that can be found on numerous fabrics and garments. It's a treatment applied to the fabric in the finishing process which retains creases and folds during laundering. Durable press describes items that retain their shape and their pressed appearance even after repeated uses, washing and tumble drying. So from the figure you can see the durable press fabric. Is wash and wear and durable press one and the same? Wash and wear and durable press are permanent press finishes are given using resin precondensates. Wash and wear finish that is wash, dry, wear and no need for ironing imparts crease recovery only and is suitable where pressed in creases are not required. This kind of finish is not suitable where pressed in creases are required or where formation of sharp creases are hindered during ironing. Inserted creases on this fabric disappear quickly during wear. For sharp retention of pressed in creases and freedom from ironing the fabrics, the garments require durable press finish. Development of durable press finishing technique, also referred to as permanent press, is an outgrowth of the manufacturer's difficulty in making wrinkle resistant goods into garments. The finish gave a built-in memory to fabrics which interfered with shaping garments to confirm to body contours, pressing creases into trousers and putting pleats in skirts. 
wrinkle resistance and wash and wear are pre-cured that is cured before the goods are cut and sewn into garments the permanent press finishes are post cured the durable press finish is used on cotton rayon linen wool or a blend of these fibers with polyester this finish is based on resins or reactants that will combine chemically with the fiber by forming cross links between adjacent cellulose polymer chains whereby adjacent molecular chains of cellulose in the fiber are linked or tied to provide greater molecular rigidity. There are several methods of applying the finish to the fabric. The effectiveness depends upon both the agents used and the method of application. Let us deal with the chemicals for durable press finish. First is the cross-linking agent. Resin finishing is carried out with products known as cross-linking agents. The most widely used agent is dimethylodihydroxyl ethylene urea that is DMDHEU. Alternative to DMDHEU are polycarboxylic acids or citric acid. However, polycarboxylic acid is expensive to use and citric acid causes yellowing. Another approach has been to use polymers of malic acid to form ester crosslinks and yet another to fix a quaternary group through an epoxidation reaction to the cellulose chain to form crosslinks. Commercially, it is the modified DMDHEU that is most used today. This product is pre-buffered to prevent premature curing and also pre-blended with the catalyst. The next is catalyst. Another essential component of the resin finishing recipe is the catalyst. It allows a reaction to be carried out within the 130 to 180 degree centigrade temperature range and within the usual curing times. Three classes of catalysts are distinguished in the dry cross-linking process. Ammonium salts, example ammonium chloride, sulfate and nitrate. Metal salts, example magnesium chloride, zinc nitrate, zinc chloride, aluminium sulfate and aluminium hydroxy chloride. Catalyst mixtures, example magnesium chloride with added organic and inorganic acid donors. The reaction of DMDHEU with cellulose requires an acid catalyst for acceptable yields under conditions suitable for textile processing. The most common catalysts are magnesium chloride and zinc nitrate that generate acid conditions during the curing process, thus providing neutral liquors and good finish bath stability. Citric acid or aluminium chloride can also be blended to increase catalysts when curing times are short. Sulfuric and hydrochloric acids and their ammonium salts serve as excellent catalysts but also lead to undesirable fiber degradation. Additives The purpose is to offset partly or completely the adverse effects of the cross-linking agent. Thus, softening and smoothing agents are applied not only to improve the handle but also to compensate as much as possible for losses in tear strength and abrasion resistance. A high density polyethylene restores some of the lost tear strength and abrasion resistance by providing lubrication. Other additives serve to impart a particular character to the fabric. Examples are stiffening and filling agents water repellents, hydrophilic agents, etc. Surfactants Every resin finishing contains surfactants as emulsifiers, wetting agents and stabilizers. These surface active substances are necessary to ensure that the fabric is wet rapidly and thoroughly during the padding and to stabilize the recipe components and liquors. Example Log chain fatty alcohol are alkyl phenyl groups. The recipe for durable press finish includes DMDHEU or any cross linking agent 200 grams per liter, magnesium chloride 10 to 20 gram per liter, polyethylene emulsion 25 grams per liter, softeners combination 40 grams per liter. Non-ionic wetting agent 3 grams per liter, citric acid 3 grams per liter. The process sequence of durable press finish is as follows. Padding, 
drying, garment construction, pressing, curing, washing, rinsing and then drying. Impregnation of the fabric in the prepared resin solution by padding. Drying the padded fabric in stenter with minimum tension at 70 to 80 degrees centigrade. Garment construction and insertion of creases or pleats by hot pressing. Curing at 120 to 150 degrees centigrade for 2 to 5 minutes in stenter where cross-linking on polymerization takes place. It is then washed with 1 to 2 gram per liter of wetting agent and 2 to 4 grams per liter of soda ash at 50 to 60 degree centigrade for 10 minutes. It's rinsed in water containing softening agent and dried. Another method is to make garments, treat with resin, hydro extract, press and form creases, pleats with hot iron, dry, cure, wash, hot rinse, cold rinse and dry. High concentration of resin and curing at high temperature for a longer time are required for this kind of finish. Urea formaldehyde and melamine formaldehyde resins are not suitable for durable press finish because these precondensates cure rapidly and it is difficult to keep them in an uncured state for a long time. DMUE or ethyl carbomates may also be used for durable press finish. The resin suitable should be fast to washing and should not affect the light fastness of certain dyes. The main disadvantage of this finish is loss in strength and reduction in abrasion resistance because of the combination of high resin content and prolonged curing at high temperature. Ionic and non-ionic softeners are therefore added to the resin finishing bath to minimize the loss in strength and abrasion resistance. Emulsion of polyethylene, polyvinyl chloride, silicons etc are also added. Parameters affecting the process are time of heat setting, temperature of heat setting, overfeeding and tension of the fabric. Let us deal with the different types of finishing. There are several processes for durable press products. They differ as to when the chemical is applied and the stage at which cutting, sewing and pressing take place. In the pre-cured and post-cured processes, the finish is applied to the fabric. In the immersion, metered addition and vapor phase processes, the finish is applied to the garment or product. The pre-cured process The fabric is treated with a resin cross-linking solution and dried. Cure flat in open width form in a curing oven to form cross links between molecular chains. Cut and sew items. Press. This fabric can be used to produce garments that resist wrinkling during wearing and have a smooth appearance after washing and drying. However, it is not possible to introduce sharp durable creases as a cross link fabrics will resist any attempt to press in creases. It's used for shirting, draperies and other items that do not require satin creases or pleats. It's common with cotton polyester blends. The next is the post-cured process. Saturate the fabric with a resin cross-linking solution and dry at low temperatures. Cut and sew the item and press shape creases with hot head press. Cure the pressed item in a curing oven at 300 to 400 degree Fahrenheit. Curing gives shape to the cellulosic fibers. The thermoplastic fibers are set by the hot head pressing. It's used for skirts, slacks and other products with satin creases or pleats that are durable for the life of the garment. It's common with cotton polyester blends. The immersion process or it's also called as garment dip method. Dye and finish the products for a specific fashion look. Garments are constructed from non-resonated fabrics. Immerse the garment, a product in the finishing agent and extract excess finish. Dry the product. Hand and performance are modified with fabric softeners and other compounds so that the finished product will appeal to consumers. 
press desired features that is creases, pleats, etc. into the garment with special hot head press. Cure product in curing oven at 300 degree Fahrenheit for 5 to 15 minutes. Use for fashion apparel of 100% cotton. It's also known as garment, a product dip process. Meter addition process or spray application. Dye and finish the product for specific fashion look. Spray garment a product with a finishing agent in a rotating chamber. Tumbling continues until product is uniformly processed. Hand and performance can be modified with fabric softeners and other compounds so that the finished product will appeal to consumers. Press desired features that is creases, pleats, etc. into garment with special hot head press. Cure product is in curing oven at 300 degree Fahrenheit for 5 to 15 minutes. It's used for fashion apparel and furnishings of 100% cotton. Vapor phase process. Dye and finish the product for a specific fashion look, cut and sew. Press desired features like creases, pleats, etc. into garments with special hot head press. Hand and performance can be modified with fabric softeners and other compounds so that the finished product will appeal to consumers. Apply finish in a vapor form to the product in a closed chamber and cure while it is in the chamber. It's used for cotton and other natural fibers. Uses less finishing chemicals so the effects on hand, abrasion resistance and staining is less. Now that we learned about different finishing methods, Let's get familiar with some facts about durable press finishing. Blends of cotton polyester use less resin than 100% cotton. The high strength and abrasion resistance of polyester make these fabrics much more durable. Cotton pretreated with liquid ammonia or mercerized under tension minimizes the strength loss due to the finishing. Polymer sizing added to the yarns before curing increases abrasion resistance. Although most curing is done using forced air convection ovens, microwave ovens produce a more uniform cure for lighter weight fabrics such as shirtings. Let's look into the durable press for wool. Wool has natural memory, it is elastic, has good resilience and tends to return to its original shape after tension or when compression is exerted. It has good resiliency when it is dry, but its durable press characteristics are poor when it is wet. Durable press wool is achieved with combination resin treatments to impart durable press characteristics and control wool's excessive shrinkage. Flat fabric is treated with 1-2% to of the durable press resin and steamed for 3-5 to five minutes. The item is made up, sprayed with more durable press resin and pressed to achieve a permanent crease effect. Shrink resistance resin is mixed with a dry cleaning solvent and then the item is dry cleaned. The resin is cured in the item for 3 to 7 days before it is laundered. Long lasting creases or pleats are added to wool by a process in which the crease area of the garment is sprayed with a chemical reducing agent such as monoethanol amine sulfite which temporarily inhibits wool's resilience. When the garment is pressed, the heat resets the wool's memory with this crease so that the fabric always tends to return to the new creased condition. Moisture increases this reaction and when wet, the crease tends to become sharper. Another method is to pre-treat wool. The goods are padded in a solution of urea and diethanolamine carbonate, dried and then pressed in an electrically heated press. After this treatment, creases or pleats may be put into the fabric with a conventional steam press and then dried in the press for one minute. Next, let's see how silk is being durable pressed. Since silk wrinkles easily when wet, polycarboxylic acid is used to produce durable press or wrinkle resistant silk. The finish is durable to laundering but produces a 20% loss in strength, increase in stiffness and decrease in whiteness. The polyset process or wet fixation process. The blended fabrics are better crease resistant than 100% cellulosic fabrics. 
Still, ironing is necessary after washing to wear in case of blends. The durable press finish is also given for blends but following a different process sequence. The process sequence for blends are the resin solution and additives without catalyst are batched at 70 degrees centigrade for 2 hours. Wash, dry, pad with catalyst. Dry, stitch garment, hot press to shape and form creases and pleats. Cure at 160 degrees centigrade for 10 to 15 minutes. Wash, hot rinse, cold rinse and dry. The characteristics of durable press finished products. First, let's look into the positive properties. It has improved dimensional stability and shape retention. Less tendency to creasing. It's easier to iron. Softer and smoother feel. Better appearance and more durable. Less change in shade. Improved bed fastness of dyes and prints. Less tendency to pilling, especially for fiber blends. The negative aspects are this finish contains cross linking agents that reduce tensile and tearing strength of the finished fabric by 30 to 50 percent. Abrasion resistance is also reduced due to the brittleness of the fiber caused by cross linkage of the molecular chain. Also, the fiber becomes less absorptive, and garments of such finished material are less comfortable in humid weather. The handle is hard. It's less dietable and elastic. Reduction of light fastness and color changes of dyed fabrics. Yellowing, especially in case of white fabrics. Objectionable odors, sometimes fishy smell. Chlorine retention, causing marked yellowing and strength loss. Release of larger amount of formaldehyde. Affinity for soils. Dye migration because of high curing temperatures. Construction problems with seam pucker. Wherever there is a problem, there are solutions. The above drawbacks can be rectified by adopting new approaches or making modifications in durable press finishing. Since cross-linking occurs only in cellulosic fibers, the loss of strength can be reduced by blending cotton or rayon with polyester fiber. A blend of at least 50% polyester and 50% cotton or rayon is required for significant strength retention. The polyester fiber also improves the abrasion resistance, hand and appearance as well as color and styling potential. Molecular structure of cotton fiber is altered by swelling with sodium hydroxide without tension and allowing the cotton to shrink then stretching the yarn while it remains in the caustic soda. This is found to increase the strength of the permanent press cotton so that it is equal to untreated cotton for 20 laundering. Pretreatment of cotton and cotton polyester fabrics with liquid ammonia has been found to improve luster, tensile strength, wrinkle resistance, flex life and hand of goods that are subsequently cross-linked. A steam cure followed by a dry cure of cross-linked cotton has also been shown to be effective and importantly to provide about 30% greater abrasion resistance than the conventional method. A different approach is the use of polymer sizing on yarns for cotton fabrics. Subsequently, the goods are given the conventional dry cure resin treatments. As a result, greater tensile strength and edge abrasion resistance of the permanent press fabrics are achieved. The handle of the fabrics can be improved by combining softeners. Elastic properties can be improved by combining with silicon such as elastomeric. By proper selection of products such as dye stuff, cross linkers, catalyst, shade change or reduction in light fastness can be overcome. Yellowing of fabrics may be avoided by proper selection of catalyst, fluorescent brightness and application conditions. Objectionable orders can be avoided by proper selection of catalyst, that is no ammonia product, cross linkers and if necessary by washing. Chlorine retention can be avoided by proper selection of cross linking agents. Formaldehyde free or low formaldehyde resin should be selected. The general care guidelines for durable press items include the following. 
that is wash items frequently because resins have a strong affinity for oil and grease so that soil penetrates deeply and builds up retreat stains collars and cups use a spot removal agent on grease spots keep wash load small to minimize wrinkling avoid setting in wrinkles with heat keep washing and drying temperatures cool remove items promptly when dry one way to lessen abrasion is to launder the garment inside out since this will reduce the wear on the crease do not wring the garment or spin dry them in a washing machine dryer rinse them well and hang them on wooden or plastic hangers let's just summarize about the durable press finish that we st studied uh, now the specific characteristics not present in fibers are imparted through these functional finishes thereby we can add value to the fabric one such important finish is this durable press finish in this module we have learned what is durable press finish its techniques the characteristics and the care of the durable pressed finish hope you enjoyed the session bye and see you soon